Hey guys, Mr. Backberg here. This is part two of lesson 3.5. In this video, we're going to focus on graphing out equations of lines. Taking a look at this example, we're asked to graph out the equation y equals negative 2x plus 3. In order to graph this out, the first thing we're going to look at is that y-intercept number on the end. This equation is telling us that our y-intercept is going to be at 3. So what that means is we can count up on the y-axis three spaces and put a dot at that point because this is where our graph is going to cross through that y-axis at three. Then the slope is negative two and I'm gonna turn it into a fraction by putting it over one. So it's negative two over one. If we think about slope as rise over run, this is saying that we should go down two spaces and then to the right one space. So I'm gonna count down two spaces and to the right one space and put my next dot there. And then all I have to do is draw in the line. So there's the graph for the equation y equals negative two x plus three. Now not every equation that we graph out is going to be given to us in slope intercept form like that last one was. There's another form that we commonly use called standard form. And a standard form equation looks like ax plus by equals c. And when we're given an equation in standard form and we want to graph it out, we're going to do so by finding some intercepts. There's two different kinds of intercepts that we're going to find. The first kind of intercept that we're going to find is called an x-intercept. And in order to find an x-intercept, we're going to plug in a zero for our y value and then simplify down our equation. If we're going to find a y-intercept, then what we're going to do is we're going to plug in a zero for our x and then simplify our equation down. In this last example, we're going to graph out the equation 3x plus 4y equals 12. Since this one is in standard form, I'm going to graph it out by finding the intercepts. So remember, we've got x-intercepts and we've got y-intercepts. In order to find x-intercepts, we're going to plug in a zero for our y and then simplify it down. So when we plug in that zero for our y, we get 3x plus 4 times 0 equals 12. Well, 4 times 0 is just 0. And if we take 3x and add 0 to it, it's still just 3x. Now if we want to solve this to get x all by itself, we would divide each side by 3. So we get x equals 4 as our x-intercept. Now we can write this as an ordered pair. The x value is 4, and the y value is the 0 that we plugged in at the beginning. So this is the point 4, 0. Now for finding the y-intercept, we said we were going to plug in a 0 for our x. So 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 4y is still 4y. And in order to solve this one, we're going to divide each side by 4. So we get y equals 3. And again, we can write this as an ordered pair. The x value that we plugged in was 0, and the y value that we got was 3. So that's the point 0, 3. Now in order to graph this out, all we have to do is plot these two points. So the first point is at 4, 0, so that says count to the right four spaces, but don't go up or down at all. Our second point is 0, 3, so it says don't go left and right at all, but go up three spaces. We've got two points, now all we need to do is draw on the line. So there's the graph for the equation 3x plus 4y equals 12. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. 